Hey guys, it's uh, me again. Gave me the new fix for uh, the hard drive. We're just blowing on these tabs here. Uh, unfortunately, I guess for mine, it's not a permanent fix. Uh, but I did find something to make it a little bit better and actually permanently fix it. Um, however, it looks like it takes uh, a quarter of the hard drive space away. Uh, once again, this is a 20 gig uh, hard drive bought off eBay. It's a Seagate. <clears throat> uh, pretty much all I did is I got this external hard drive case here. Uh, yeah, trying to put it in with one hand isn't awesome. There we go. Pretty much stuck this in. I'm not even going to bother about a cover since I don't really have much time to talk. I got a lot of pictures on this camera. I haven't imported them yet. Uh, pretty much all I did, <clears throat> I connected the hard drive, uh, let's get up here, uh, see currently it's not on my computer's list, it should be drive I, however, if you go into control panel, administrative tools, computer management, continue, Go to uh, disk management right there. Got to wait a second. It's loading files. Uh, currently, it tells me I have three things. There's the uh, recovery partition, this simple basic, and well, actually no, that's actually drive I uh, recovery partition, and then my actually operating system hard drive that's inside the computer. Now, if you scroll down in this list, uh, this is what's already internal on the computer. Keep going down in case mine's in drive I. Now, I had to initialize it first. You just right click over here. Uh, mine's already done, so it's not going to say it, but there is initialize up at the top. Uh, you click that, it should only take a few seconds. Um, then, once it's done, you right click on this and you left click on format. Go through format. Um, currently, I put it into the, well, I thought I did FAT32, but some reason it's saying NTFS, but you know what? It works, uh, so I guess NTFS is the way to go. Labeled it NTSF. I deleted the volume name. Did a perform a quick format, or else it will sit here forever and not go anywhere. Uh, you click OK, and then it should be done within a matter of seconds. I, I plugged it into the Xbox after that, and it was working perfectly. <coughs> Although, like on the computer, when it was saying it had 18.63 gigabytes of space, as you can see there, uh, when plugging it into the Xbox, it only had 13.96. So, I'm not sure what this process does, but it does take up some space. But, you know what? It works, and I'd rather have a little bit less space than a bad hard drive. Now, when doing this earlier, I ran across the problem where the hard drive was getting extremely hot within a matter of seconds. If that's the case, then your hard drive is probably just busted. Uh, now, I was actually able to open this up and, you know, tinker around with it a little bit. was able to find out a few things were loose, probably from it being mishandled and when it was shipped, it probably got thrown around a little bit. Um, I wouldn't really advise opening it up unless you actually know what you guys are doing. Um, but pretty much that's how I got it to work. It should be a permanent fix unless something happens and it gets corrupted. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just you know, throw them back at me. Pretty much this enclosure case, if you are wondering, it's an Antec. It's a 2.5 SATA drive, external hard drive case. Uh, I was able to get it at Staples for $35. If you're looking to spend a little bit cheaper than that, you can go online. Uh, Newegg.com, you can probably find them on there for five, ten bucks, but I just didn't want to wait for shipping. Uh, so aside from that, you know, if my first trick didn't work for you guys, try this one out. With any luck, if it works, you know it's still good, but there might be a little bit less space. And if it doesn't, then that's, you know, confirmation that the hard drive is just busted. Alright, see ya.